Thanks for tuning in to Healthy Planet One, where we discuss healthy living from experts in each of their fields. This is your host, Patricia Starr. And your co-host, Kimberly Knock. Welcome, everyone. Today's guest on Healthy Planet One is our own host of the show, Patricia Starr. She is a resident leader here in Sarasota, both in wellness community and in our whole holistic community as a leader of the the new um, Holistic Community Foundation. And she has over 25 years experience in healing. She is a graduate of San Jose State University, owner and founder of Integrative Healing Arts. And she really specializes in the art and science behind aromatherapy. And her dedication to this craft is beyond words. She also is an excellent body worker in cranial and structural therapy, and people rely on her for her healing, intuitive wisdom. And today she's going to be focusing more on the aromatherapy side. But thank you so much, Patricia, for sharing your wisdom with everyone today. So um, thank you. Thank you so much, Kimberly. (laughs) You're welcome. So go back to the beginning and um, kind of uh, reintroduce how long you've been using essential oils. They're kind of popular now. And and how did you get started? Well, it's funny. Uh, I started uh, over 25 years ago. Um, I had I had played with aromatherapy like a lot of people do. And then we like the aromas and what have you. But when I came down with breast cancer for the second time, I went, wait a minute, there's something that I need to know. Because I went like everybody else. I just went the the first time through the allopathic path and uh, did the cut and, and, um, and, you know, and just like that took off. And then uh, I went, wait a minute, there's, there's something that's missing here that I need to pay attention to given that I got it a second time. So someone sent me a packet of oils, and I was like, hmm. And then someone else said, you know, you need to learn more about this. So I actually enrolled um, in a class that that was a year-long class in studying the various aspects of aromatherapy, and that was back in 1997. So that was after I had recovered from um, breast cancer, and I actually learned how to use the essential oils I went through radiation therapy uh, at the second time, but I used the oils to mitigate any of the burning that you get from radiation. So I had no burning. Slight pinking is all that came up for me, and I was very judicious on how I did that. And in that year, Kimberly, I got really related to the plants and to each and every oil that I used. And, And that's why I wanted to focus today on on the importance of plant medicine, I call it plant medicine because it's definitely that. And and plants that have been with us forever have always been a part of our healing and um, living vital lives since the beginning that we were put on this planet. The, the oils, the plants, they are the people's medicine. And in today's world, what I realized when I went through that was that I thought I was connected to nature. I mean, we walk the beach, we go in the forest, but I realized how separate and unknowing I was about nature. And I see in today's world, we become very separate from nature. And it's my passion that we reconnect with nature, embrace its gifts, and nourish our body, mind, and emotions, because that's what they did for me when I was um, going through this this whole thing of like, am I going to die from cancer? Right. I, I love this. So take us back. You um, you use the oil. So can you give us uh, the listeners an example of how you use the oils? Like because you said it really helped you through radiation, and yeah. I love that you have this in you know this real intuitive connection with them, and you do now. Um, so w- what were some of the sure. examples of the oils? Well, it's, it's, it's a great question because, uh, you know, like I said, I thought I was in tune with nature. But then when I started, it's funny because in my very first class, my teacher said, okay, I'll make this blend. And I'm like, what? I don't even, I don't even know. What is basil? What is peppermint? What, how do they combine all this kind of stuff? And that, that is a, a very basic question that people start off with. And um, and so I in that moment, I realized my disconnection with nature. I didn't even know 
I thought, yeah, basil, you have it on Italian food, right? So, well, that also stems from the disconnection of food that's been around forever. So it goes hand it, in yeah. hand. Exactly. Yeah. And yeah. so what I started to do is I, um, I got a bunch of oils and I started really re- getting related to the oils. I would take um, a bath every day. Um, sometimes two baths a day as I was going through my my rehab and I call it rehab it was really a reconnection Mm -hmm. and I started getting very related to each of the oils at a level that I don't think we do so much today Kimberly I think you know like you said aromatherapy is getting really popular and this is why I wanted to talk about it because we we think about the oils, um, and I see this from, in multi-level marketing and a lot of posts on Facebook and, and like that. We see it as replacing our medicine cabinet. Oh, okay. Instead of taking aspirin for your headache, take some peppermint and put it on, you know, put it on the sides of your head, and, and then you'll be and smell it, and you'll be fine. Or um, you want to um, you want to relax, take some lavender, you know, and it's well, and the some oil- of that's true. <laughs> and it's all true, but the oils are much, much deeper. So what I wanted to talk about today was the the pure, unadulterated essential oils that are actually our allies on the path to optimal physical well-being and happiness because they are and the expression of the highest intelligence of nature. So we're gonna, I want to go kind of deep in this because... You know, we talk about, we just got off with uh, Dr. Mitch and we talked about all the molecular this and that and it's all spot on and really good. But we're not just physical beings. We're not just physical bodies. And you, I know you know, Kimberly, when you when you are working and teaching about food, you're teaching about the vital energy that is in there. And it's that energy that actually helps us to raise in strength to recreate our health if it's lost and make our lives individually and collectively more comfortable and more in tune with the heartbeat of the universe. Is yeah. that it's yeah, a beautiful, it's, so it's, it's, it's this intention. It's, it's what people can't see that they don't understand. So you're talking about the energetic intention, this quantum type of, you know, energy and it's there. And, yes. and, and aromatherapy taps into it because it's the essence of the plant. And hermetics was the original form of medicine thousands and thousands of years ago. And that's why I know yeah. that in, in modern day, um, we've coined the word aromatherapy, but I really want to continue to take it back to plant medicine because mm. it's not just using the oils, it's understanding where they come from, understanding the, the form that the plant takes you know, um, we un- we don't understand milk. We only know that milk comes out of a carton. No, it comes mm. from a cow. You know. <laughs> yeah. So, give us an example of plant medicine where you where a person might know a certain uh, lavender is very popular, peppermint's very popular, and then maybe take them back to how deep. Because I know you've got so many different lavenders, and you know your stuff. Like, well, I do, oh. and and I and I really. Um, you know, when I when I teach my classes, I I teach about that. You know, uh, one lavender is different from another lavender, all depending on where it's grown from, what the climate is. We can't grow lavender well in Florida, so just forget it. But it does grow really well at high altitudes, and the and this relates to the energy. The higher the altitude, the the purer the oil. So it's really interesting. I want to quote something from Vasant Lad, who's a great Ayurvedic uh, practitioner, he says, plants transmit that vital emotional impulse, the life force that is hidden in light. It is the gift, the grace, and the power of plants. The existence of plants is a great offering and a sacrifice. They offer us not only their own nutritive value, but the very light and love from the sun, the stars, and the cosmos whose messengers they are. So you see, I'm really, when I look at lavender, a lavender flower, for example, oh my gosh, it smells so relaxing and so beautiful. When we take a bottle of lavender uh, oil, it's very powerful. It's it's a hundred times more powerful than the plant. So we need to learn how to work with these subtle and vital energies of the plant 
not just to cure something or to relieve something, but to get related to nature itself. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so so the people that don't understand how the, the body responds so intimately with uh, plant medicine, aromatherapy, or the oils, how does that work? Like just the, the simple kind of... You sit with the plant. You And this is what I do sometimes in my classes. I get them related to the plant. So I'll bring in a series of plants. I'll bring in a rosemary. I'll bring in a Beautiful. basil. I'll bring in a lavender. I'll bring in a, a you know a, 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 an orange flower, for example. And you begin to learn about... And then you relate to the oil. You begin to learn that there's... Like ourselves, like you, Kimberly, you may be an expert as a bioenergetic chef, but you have many, many layers. And to know that, to know you, and as I've, as I've gotten to know you over these last couple of years, what an incredible person and, and a creative person you are. And we begin to then work with the energies together in a holistic way versus isolated. And here's the difference between working with plant medicine versus, with, versus working with the allopathic approach. You know, it's, it's working with organic versus non-organic. It's mm-hmm. the holistic versus the isolated. It's, it's the human versus the technochemical. So it's a mental shift. So I start with my students to go, just get related. Here, take this basil plant and, and, and talk with it. Tell, tell me, what does it feel like? What is, it, what is your experience of it? Smell it. Uh, rub it. Rub the leaves. What's your experience of that? Is Light that, it. Is it's that just, something it. that we do on a regular basis? No, right? Well, that's kind of how I grew up is like eating. Uh, I mean, I would eat the ends of grass, the, you know, like the sweet grass. It's, it, we're so used to factory to plate. You're talking the same thing that I talk about with cooking. You're talking about with your aromatherapy. It's the same thing. When right. you cook with herbs, you have a, such a different experience because, but talk about like the way we breathe in these scents, our olfactory nerve, just how powerful that is. They're so powerful. And, you know, the essential oils are linked to a cumulative vital energy. Not only do they fight off microbes of many different kinds, um, like, for example, um, we were talking about COVID earlier. Um, I I make a hand sanitizer that's not just alcohol. Have you smelled some of those hand sanitizers? They're They're disgusting. Can't even take them. Just gross. But mine have the essential oils in it, which helps in, in many aspects of the many different microbes that are always all around us. And the oils are here to protect us, so I'll diffuse it in the air. We don't wear masks in this office because it affects our breathing, but we use the oils that actually enhance our breathing. I do a whole lecture on the importance of the essential oils supporting our respiratory system because our respiratory system is at an impact with the environment and the air that we breathe and the people around us. So the, uh, the, the essential oils fight off these unwanted <clears throat> uh, properties. And they, at the same time, they're strengthening our, our whole being. Um, they're, they're actually, these essential oils are energy reservoirs of the plants. And they serve us directly and instantly to vitalize that. Have you ever taken a smell of orange? You know, when you make your uh, smoothies, you have a, an orange and you... You know, and you just cut it and you're like, oh, it smells so good. And what happens to you right away? Well, I, I have that experience when I'm juicing and I talk about that. You smell, you smell life in the kitchen or when I'm making my fire in the hole, which I, you know. Right, and you, know, you feel more vitalized, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You feel, you smell life. You're smelling energy. So it, it's, you're, you're, you're so right. And this is, this is the connection that people are missing out on. And I love that you're connecting people back to the plant because that's what we're missing. Now, for thousands of years, people have used um, plant medicine and essential oils to uh, through the respiratory system. You just mentioned something very key. What we breathe in goes directly into our blood. So, um, so if we're believe, breathing in chemicals, how is that helping us, right? Well, and the beauty about the essential oils, when you really think about it, and I want to keep emphasizing this, is their connection to sunlight 
to the yes. photons. Okay, so they're the result of the, the the essential oils are the result of the biochemical transformations that are induced by sunlight. So they're carrying. 